so uh, dear students uh, in this module i'll talk about link shortening so what is a link link is basically the address the url the complete location of a certain page it could be a video it could be a pdf file it could be different things which are available over the internet and it, of course it could be nested in certain directories also now link shortening is required because for example when you have embedded certain things and add the at the entire address is in the that text string which is the url universal resource locator a uh, locator it's very long why do we need it the reason being that the internet works on the ip or internet protocol now that protocol consists of an ip address now that ad address consists of numbers it's very difficult for people to remember numbers so corresponding to the numbers there is a text string and that contains all the information required to access a certain page a certain document a certain file or whatever you have placed on the internet now that uh, text length creates problems in certain older systems used to create the problem and we used to truncate that and uh, or or uh, or move it okay or so that creates problems now with the advent of twitter which has a certain limit of characters it is about like i believe 140 so that becomes a problem you cannot put in long links in your twitter message it will not it would not allow so we we'll so we we'll need the link shortener so what the link shortener does it reduces the or actually it replaces the long ugly looking text with something which is very nice clean and beautiful as i show you on the next slide now as you can see at the top in the box is a long url it is very difficult to type and it will not fit in certain messages it is very ugly and uh, of course uh, why it's long because it also it may contain this url utm tags also which are required for certain bookkeeping and certain other uh, information recording etc so if you look closely at this url you can see that this is for youtube video right so the what the link shortener does is replaces this entire string with something which is very nice and which is very clean and you can put a uh, innovative text over here also you can write something very fancy beautiful over here which conveys a lot of meaning over here and these two they are same they are not different they are, they point to the same thing and i would suggest that you give it a try in your powerpoint slides you will have this url the long one you can just copy paste it and you can try the shorter one also they point to the same place on youtube so that is one benefit of the link shortener let's go into more details so what can link shortener do the link shortener does two things one of course it shortens the link the other is masking what is meant by masking masking means that it hides whatever is ugly whatever is long okay and that is replaced by something which is very nice and clean which uh, and that shortener is simple it beautifies whatever you have replaced the long text with and it allows also tracking of that link also now there is one shortcoming possible over here because when i replace the long link or the long url and i mask it there may be something malicious stuff behind that or in that url which has been replaced but that malicious masking is taken care of by different browsers you know what i'm saying so it could be anything but it could be replaced with something nice so that is one issue with masking now with the link shortening it is it is good for communication for example you are in a presentation and somebody asks you that what is the url of your company now if you start saying this 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 slash this this slash this this people will lose track 
if you only say b dot link slash excellent company everybody knows that so it's good for communication it's good for sharing also and as i showed you in the previous slide data man is innovative so you come up with a new idea new company new product new service new concept so instead of long urls you replace it with a smaller one so what can link shortening do it provides link tracking link tracking means that i have replaced that long link with a short one and when people click on that link uh, it is recorded when the click was made what time what date and so on all sort of statistics can be there so that is link tracking other benefit is link retargeting it means that once somebody clicks on my link i get to know from where they clicked it and i can post an ad over there just like if you are searching for something on amazon and click on it then you start seeing corresponding advertisements on your screen that is link retargeting what is link rotating link rotating means that i can do an a slash b analysis uh 50% divide or 75 25% analysis so for that purpose i can use link shortening and link swapping or changing uh it's very it's uh, for example if i have uh, my link available at 20 places right and assuming i can make changes over there and my uh, i shift my my website to some other place it may not be possible if 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 allowed to make changes at 20 places but if i was looking a, a link shortener i will just take about 10 seconds and make a change at a single place so uh, when to use link shortener posting link across multiple websites so i post the link b dot link slash data man across 20 sites and if the location of the video changes i don't have to worry i just go to blink and change the address over there at the at the remaining places the address remains as before linking from one page to another page even in my website now if i start changing the location of the pages in my hierarchy move them up or down then i am bound to make mistakes however if i have uh, used been using a link shortener at my home page with reference to my home page then i can only need to worry about making changes at quite a few places very little places because at the remaining the reference is with reference to the home page with the link shortener and finally this point over here is that uh, it is not mandatory that you should be always using link shorteners because uh, if i send emails to my friends and my colleagues who know who i am who trust me okay then there may not be any need to use the link shortener because if they see a long link they know that this is coming from a trusted friend or a known person so they can click on it without any fear of uh, uh, any malicious results or happenings so that's all i have for this module thank you for your time